Well, as D.C. police grapple with the increase in violent crime, it also continues to find ways to get rid of the illegal guns flooding the district. And that led to the announcement today, which includes a community tip program which will provide cash to people who help take these guns off the streets. Our political and government reporter Leonard N. Fleming joining us live now. He spoke to district and federal officials about how they're joining forces to solve the illegal gun problem. And Leonard, do officials think that this is going to really make a difference? Mark and Annalisa, yes they do. In recent years, as more illegal guns have poured into D.C., it's been tips from the community that has helped stem the tide. Last year alone, more than 3,000 guns were seized, a record number. We have a gun problem that is plaguing our community. D.C. Interim Police Chief Ashan Benedict says illegal guns are key contributors to the district's crime wave. We continue to see simple conflicts and arguments escalate into shootings. This is unacceptable. Now authorities are offering cash rewards from 1,000 to 2,500 that lead to an arrest and seizure of illegal guns and tips to locate ghost guns. Those put together from kits without serial numbers for tracing can fetch up to $5,000. The confiscated weapons on display range from Glocks to semi-automatic rifles to ghost guns. We hear your cries to end the violence. Craig Calamai is the special agent in charge of the D.C. Division of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms. We cannot be everywhere, but you are. You see those individuals with illegal firearms before and after they commit violent acts. D.C. does not allow the sale of firearms. Police say these illegal guns are coming in from states like Virginia, North and South Carolina. It's just a lot easier uh, in those states to, to obtain firearms and they have certain connections and then ultimately they end up in the in the district. But we can't do it alone. We need the community's help when it comes to holding violent offenders accountable and getting illegal guns off of our streets. So far this year, D.C. police have snatched up 1,400 guns and with violent crime up 23 percent in the district, every gun taken, police say, helps to curb these senseless shootings. Reporting from the studio, Leonard N. Fleming. DC News Now, back to you. Leonard, thank you. Now to Virginia for an update on a shooting at a mall. Noah Settles, also known as rapper No Savage, was sentenced to three years in prison after he opened fire inside the Tyson's Corner Center Mall last year. Settles entered a guilty plea to four felony charges back in February. He will have supervised probation for 10 years, and he was ordered to stay away from the mall. Settles faced a maximum sentence of 33 years. Video of that incident was shown in court. It shows Settles getting into an argument and firing off three shots as he ran away. No one was hit by those bullets, but three people were injured during the mall's evacuation.